What even is a molecular compound? A molecular compound is a bond between two nonmetals. In these compounds, the atoms of the elements share one or more electrons between them. Unlike ionic compounds, there is no transfer of electrons. This forms a covalent bond. The molecular compound that we will use to explain this concept is H2O, more popularly known as water. Firstly, we need to explain how we found its formula. Hydrogen has a charge of positive 1. We know this because hydrogen is found in group 1 of the periodic table. Hydrogen is a special case where it requires only two electrons to complete its valence shell. 2 minus 1 is 1, therefore it needs one electron. Oxygen has a charge of negative 2. We know this because oxygen is found in group 16 of the periodic table. Oxygen needs eight valence electrons to complete its valence shell, and it currently has six valence electrons. 8 minus 6 is 2, therefore it needs 2 electrons to complete its valence shell. To find the formula, we will use the crossover method. Since hydrogen has a charge of 1 plus and oxygen has a charge of 2 minus, swapping the charges shows us how many atoms of each are needed to complete a full bond. Here is the formula. Hydrogen gives oxygen a subscript of 1, which does not need to be written, and oxygen gives hydrogen a subscript of 2. Therefore, H2O is your formula for water. Now here's how you draw a Lewis dot diagram. In a Lewis dot diagram, there are two parts, the formation diagram and the final diagram. First, let's draw the formation diagram. In a formation diagram, we need to show the bond between the hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atom. First, we will draw oxygen with six dots around it, representing its six valence electrons. On each side of the oxygen atom, we will draw a hydrogen atom because there are two hydrogen atoms with one dot to show that they have one valence electron. Now, we know that oxygen needs two more electrons to complete its valence shell. As we mentioned before, hydrogen, on the other hand, is a special case where it requires two valence electrons to complete its valence shell. Since they are bonding, they will share electrons. By sharing, they will both have completed valence shells. To show that, we will circle the electrons that are being bonded. Now, hydrogen can have two valence electrons because it is sharing with the lone electron from oxygen. Same with oxygen. It is completed because it is bonding with the two hydrogen atoms, giving it a complete valence shell of eight electrons. Finally, we have the final diagram. The only thing that separates the final diagram and the formation diagram is that in the final diagram, the bond of the newly paired electrons is represented by a line. So, you would draw out two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The oxygen atom has two pairs of electrons that were already previously paired, and you draw two lines connected to the hydrogen atoms in order to show that they are bonded and that both elements are sharing each other's electrons to complete their valence shells. And that's molecular compounds explained quickly. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more chem videos. Comment down below any questions you'd like to see answered next.